Hey, beautiful people. Uh, so I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and I came across this picture. Um, I'll put it somewhere in here. Um, but it was a picture of a houseplant and it had one of those self-watering orbs in it. And I remembered that my mom had actually bought me one of those for Christmas when I was in college. And it didn't work out too well for me. Um, I don't know if I... I Honestly, my plant could have just already been that dry, so it didn't matter how much water I put in that thing, it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't go work, you know. Honest moment. I was not always the best plant keeper. But um, seeing that picture, of course it brought back those memories, and then it also inspired me to do a little, you know, to DIY a little sum sum. So I'm gonna show you the idea that it gave me, and hopefully this idea that I'm going to show you inspires you to try something in your garden as well. If you're anything like me, uh, you like wine. Um, if you're especially like me, you prefer a dry red wine. My idea. Yes. I'm going to take these wine bottles and turn them into self-watering raised bed irrigation. It's gonna be cool, so just stay tuned. You heard me right. I'm going to take wine bottles and turn them into uh, like the self-watering orbs that I saw on the internet. But um, the self-watering orbs, it's basically, it's a gravity waterer and you fill up the top, the orb where the water is kept. And then as the water, as the soil dr dries up and as the soil needs the water, the water will trickle out. No, this is not going to replace your need to water, um, but it will, like if you just kind of forget one day, it shouldn't kill it, you know. It, it should help keep everything afloat, for lack of a better word. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm just rinsing all of them off. Um, like I said, I have four, uh, I have four different wine bottles. And I'm just giving them a quick rinse. I already soaked these. Um, just to kind of like clean out the inside and everything, but I just wanted to give them one more one more rinse just because they were a little dusty. We're gonna dry them off. I love having these ideas because honestly, even if it doesn't work, I don't know, it's just gonna be cool. I did not soak the corks, but if you can't, if you want to, you can soak your corks. Just drying them off. I'm also, I'm not taking the labels off because that's how I choose my wine. I know I love red wine, dry red wine, and I know the types of dry, dry red wine that I like. So then at that, after that, it's really just whoever has the prettiest label. Actually, I'm going to do this. Uh, three of the bottles have corks. Corks. And one of the bottles is actually a screw off. So, but I'm gonna show you how I make the DIY um, gravity waterer um, drip irrigation system. I'll show you how I do that with both corks and a screw top. Why, hello there, beautiful. We had our first mammoth sunflower, finally set off a flower. I think Big Daddy Sunflower in the back, I think, I think he's next. all of our materials lined up. We have our wine bottles, our drill. Um, I believe this drill bit is one fourth to one fourth inch. 
inch yeah I think inch it's a 1 4 inch uh, in diameter drill bit I believe so um, you just you don't want this the hole to be too small you don't want it to be too big so use your discretion in that one and then I filled up this pitcher with water before I came outside and realized that my hose was on so if you if your hose is on use your hose um, if not just grab a pitcher of water that way after we drill all the holes we can fill up the wine bottles and so this next part you're just gonna take your cork take your drill okay. and you just want to be very careful um, not to you know hurt yourself and you're just going to drill a hole straight through through we're through you may want to just kind of push some of the cork out like some of the excess cork that way it doesn't clog it up Not a big hole, not a super small hole. Take your wine bottle. Don't roll away. There you go. Sit. Okay. Take your wine bottle, take your water. And you don't have to fill it up all the way because you do want to leave some space for, um, not for oxygen to escape but you want to leave some space so that while the water comes out it can burp so yeah that's oxygen stick your cork back in and voila there you go hole wine bottle and water let's do that again but this time i'm going to use the screw top you'll take your screw top same thing be very careful so you don't hurt yourself. Wine bottle, water. You don't have to fill it up. This one's a little bit lighter. The glass is a little bit lighter, so you can see how much water I put in there. It's maybe a little less than halfway up. Screw top. Your hole. Your water. Your wine bottle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish all of these up and then we will get them put in the garden. instead of throwing these away or even recycling them which is a you know great recycle please um i'm just kind of giving these another life no oh, upside down i'm giving the wine bottles another life and another use let's get these put in the garden okay here we are behind a zinnia and tomato row and i'm going to put 
I think I'm only gonna put two over here. I'll probably put one right here, probably behind that onion. And then I'll put another one um, closer to the ground cherry and the lemon thyme. just want to cover it up to the neck. Nope. Brush this away a little bit. Don't want to disturb that onion. Try to push it at an angle also. Sorry, let me fix this one. Let me know in the comments if you like these kind of like DIY videos. Um, I know that this one was kind of silly, but uh, I had fun. So I hope you had fun with me and I hope you were inspired. Um, you know, of course, if you try, if you do a similar project or if you do this project, please take pictures and post them on my Instagram. Um, my Instagram handle is in the description box below. Um, yeah, post them on Instagram, tag me. I would love to see your DIY wine bottle, what are we gonna call this, gravity water, DIY wine bottle irrigation system um, but seriously even if you don't want to do this particular project I just hope that the silliness of this project I um, mean the overall kind of silliness of this video um, I hope it inspires you to try some of the, the sillier projects that you've been thinking about um, the DIY projects or even the oh, that was spike I was just like, what is this lurking about? But it's just my dog. Um, yeah, I hope this inspires you to try some of the sillier things that you've been thinking about lately. Um, small projects, big projects, small dreams, small dreams, big dreams. Um, they're only silly until they work. Or... Uh, as Pastor Mike says, it's only crazy until it happens. Cheers.